So hi and welcome to this video. So um, today what we're going to be doing is, uh, as you can see on the, um, the my messages page, it shows you the uh, body of the message, but it doesn't show you a title or anything. And if it's a long message, it's going to you're not going to be able to see it all because we shortened it to only show you 150 characters by default. So what we're going to be doing is just adding a title field, and we're going to get it. So when you click on say the title of the message it's going to show you the rest of it so first what we're going to do is we're going to go into PHP my admin and we're going to go to the field uh, or the structure of the table private messages and as you can see I added a new um, cut row uh, underneath user 2 called msg underscore title and it's a var jar of length 255 characters so just add that to your um, table and let's move on so now that we've added that uh, uh, if we go to uh, yeah if we go to um, send a message to someone so if I go to here and send message um, at the moment because we've changed the fields it won't work so uh, as I've so what I've done to uh, fix that is I added obviously the message underscore ta um a var I added um a variable called msg underscore title and it's uh, in the same place as the uh, row in the database uh, so that it like matches. So uh, and then all uh, all I did was uh, ms I created I just copied the msg underscore body variable and changed it to title. And I just made a text, an input type of text. Uh, well, you can see it for yourself. The only it's only it's just a normal text field, and its name is msg underscore title. And it has a val it is a non click val. Its value by default is enter ma um, the message title here, and its on click value is nothing. So when you click it, it disappears. Uh, the reason this is all done is because I recorded this tutorial once and then for some reason it didn't save correctly and I have now I'm re-recording it. So, um, and the next thing I did was just copy the body um, check code again. I just copied uh, this code, pasted it above it and changed um, msg underscore body to title and the messages uh, that it checks and gives you a few have an error. So just do that and then you'll be ready to get into the tutorial. So the uh, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, show the message title. So we are going to copy this and right above it we're going to put in msg underscore title. Um, we have to do this down here as well. So back up here in the um, unread messages section, we can just copy this code once again and paste it up here and just change everything to uh, suit the msg underscore title variable. And obviously we uh, don't need such a long length, so we can just shorten it. So now we've done that. Mm, whoops. Okay, so now we've done that, we can just change this again to underscore title. And now as you'll see, uh, whoops, you'll see if I go to my messages and I uh, refresh, you'll see that we'll just get you left with two uh, you won't see anything basically, you'll just see the word cinema, which is correct. And that's because we're telling it to uh, get the MSG under they get the data from the MSG underscore title row. But as you can see, these two let's go back to the browse. So uh, these two <coughs> uh, these two are sent before uh, we added the MSG underscore title um, row. So that, that means they're blank. So if we were to uh, send something now, so say I typed in hi 
cinema and uh, I just put in a message and I spelt it wrong but it doesn't matter so we send the message and we uh, refresh you can see now we have another um, message and this time we have MSG underscore the MSG underscore title row filled in with the uh, actual data so to see this I'm just going to log out of Francis because I sent the message and I'm going to log into Cinema so we can see it. So I just logged in and as you can see uh, Cinema has one message and it's from Francis and the title of the message is Hi Cinema which is correct. But as you can see we can't see the actual message so uh, what we're going to do to um, fix that is we're going to use JavaScript to uh, show a div underneath uh, the message title. So what we're going to do is create a link and uh, we can actually get, I think we can get rid of this. Oh no, I see, no. Now, uh, wait, yes, we can. So uh, I'll just refresh to make sure. Yeah, so we can, I was just checking. So uh, now we just end the link. And in here we just put a hash or pound sign. And uh, that just stops it linking to another page. Okay, actually, no, we don't put hash. We're going to say uh, JavaScript. And then we're simply just going to say toggle. Okay, so now we've done that. Uh, we actually need to also create an ID. And it's going to be display text, just say that. So if we refresh, we see we have a link that says Hi Cinema, but if we click it, we won't, we'll see nothing, it won't do anything. And actually, we can just put a space in here. So, to uh, fix this, well, it's not really broken. We just haven't put any uh, the code for the div in yet. So uh, what we're going to do is just create a div underneath, and it's going to uh, let's just create it first actually. So it's going to have an ID of toggle uh, toggle text, and its style is going to be. Uh, set to display none, which just means we won't be able to see it until we toggle it or tell JavaScript to uh, show it. And here we can just say msg, msg underscore body. So now we can just go up here and uh, start putting in the JavaScript code. So uh, if you've done any JavaScript, you'll know you have to uh, include it in sort of a JavaScript sort of block. Um, we're just going to make that now. So script language is obviously JavaScript. And we end the script tag. And in here we're going to create a function called toggle, which is uh, the uh, function down here, which is why it's JavaScript comma or uh, javascript colon toggle it's just uh, to uh, show it just to tell it what function to use so you can really call it whatever you want but so we're going to create a variable called um yeah, which is going to equal document dot get element by id um, the element we're going to be getting is toggle text. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Oops, I spelled it wrong again. So now I finally spelled it right. So we're going to copy this and we're going to create another variable and uh, it's going to be text. But don't, uh, don't worry, you can call that whatever you want. And this is going to be display text. Um, so now what we're going to say is if ELE, which is the variable we just created, dot style dot display equals equals, which is 
equals equals is used when you're comparing two things like an if statement or two. Uh, it's sort of similar to PHP in that respect. No, most languages are like that. And we're just going to say text dot inner HTML equals show. And I actually left out a line. We're going to say ELE yeah, yeah, dot style dot display equals none and then we can we say else and we just uh, copy these two And we can uh, just paste them in. Change display to uh, block, and the other one to hide. So let's uh, go to the browser and see. Does that work? So if I click on High Cinema, okay. Let me see what's wrong. Okay, so actually we don't need these um, these uh, hide and show um, things. I'm just uh, copying. I wasn't really concentrating. I did it earlier and I did it slightly differently. So, um, so I think I found the problem. So we had a double equals here. <coughs> double equals is used for comparing, and single equals is used for um, assigning values so let's see if that worked so if we refresh and now if I hit it or click on it as you can see now the message is revealed and we click on it again it'll hide it see uh, okay well there's a slight problem the uh, horizontal line is ab uh, above the message and that's like a, that's going to be used as a break to uh, un well underneath the message, so that's easy to fix. So all we do is copy this and paste it underneath. So if we go back and refresh again, we shouldn't notice any difference at the start, but if we uh, click on one, I guess we'll. Uh, we uh, will. We can just put um, a break here. And f whoops. Save it and refresh. And there's our message. So that's the. Uh, well, I mean, it's not. It doesn't look very good, but I mean, it's only to show you how to do it. I mean, you could make it look a lot better if you want with a bit of CSS. So, well, that's it. So, uh. Thanks for watching. Um, I know this has been a shorter tutorial than normal, but don't worry, there'll be more coming in the next couple of days, and they will be way longer. But that's basically us almost finished with the uh, inbox system. Uh, so don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.